Hey guys, Coach John. Coach Daddy. And uh, today is our anniversary. Yay! For how long? Five years. Five years. It's been five to 225. It's just like meant to be. That is awesome right there. Um, and what's great about today is um, it's our anniversary. Yes. We have to work out. And here's the thing. That's the right answer. <laughs> today is actually a double workout on the calendar. Shanti says you can do one in the morning, one at night, mm -hmm. or you can do it back to back to make it a little more extreme. Yes. Okay? Um, today. Of course we're doing the extreme version. I mean, really. Like, I had an option. I'm like, okay, honey, you think we should do this? What the? He looked at me and he goes, really? Are you kidding? We're doing the extreme version. But if that is not an option for you guys, split it up in the day, morning, yes. night, okay? Do or do the one, the first workout on Friday, and if you can't have time for it for whatever reason, push it to Saturday. Mm -hmm. It says so to do that in the calendar. Or if you really want to do the extreme one, since you got Saturday and Sunday as off days, basically, right? Make Friday your off day and move the double to Saturday. That way you could still get that more extreme workout mm -hmm. in. Make it work for your lifestyle, your busy day, and all that kind of stuff. We understand that. Yes. Make fitness work for your life. Yeah, I know. I mean, it, whatever works for you guys, this happens to work for us, mm -hmm. I guess. <laughs> we squeeze it in. Um, it's going to be awesome. But, it, you know, it doesn't always work the way the calendar says. And I have so many of you that talk to me and say, like, hey, I have to start over because I didn't get it on Monday. Or all this stuff. And it's like, you don't have to follow it. Because it says Monday's day one, right. you don't have to do that. So if you have questions about that, email us at info at gf2revolution.com. Um, let us help you with it because it, it's so much more fun and freeing when you realize you have more flexibility. Yeah. And it's not controlling you, you're controlling it. So awesomeness. We so, have a lower, new workout yeah. that we've never done. Lower focus. So I'm lower? The legs are going to be on fire. And then we got cardio on top of it. <laughs> and then we have cardio, which we did Monday, which was intense. Yeah. So we'll see how that goes. We'll review it for you at the end. Yeah. Enjoy, guys. Bye, guys. Focus. Oh. Give me three yeah, legs. Get him up here. There you go, okay? No laziness here. Just want to know how to do a squat. And I'm going to teach you how to do the squat. Yeah. The right way. Yeah. You're going to work the squat full black. If you spread the toes out, you get that wider base of support that we were talking about. And everything from there up will have control. But no, I want you to keep that medial line. I want you to stay tall. Ah. Here we go. Do it again. Here. Two and up. Give me two squats now. Do it again, come on. Down up, down up, two squats down. It's a perfect time for me to come to her. And look, medial, she's in the center. Every time she stays in the center, you got this, come on. And take it out, and in. So now you're trying to open up that belt that's wrapped around, and you want to squeeze it together. Now when you squeeze together, act like you have, come on. Up and over, keep pushing. Where's my focus? My focus is on that hip flexor again. Now, time's the first person to come to. She doesn't have to go all the way to the floor, but she's still touching that knee, and she still has a supporting leg that's doing most of the work, okay? And touch the floor, hit down, Go, hit up and over, touch the floor, down, and again. There you go, you're there. Now I know you're pushing, and I know you're working. Move left, get the knees up. Move right. And get him back up as soon as possible. You stay in. Come on, how we feeling, guys? Keep it. You got my hands on your hips. Stay with Christina, she can get you there. Come on. There you go. Tighten the core. Push through. Making sure that heel comes forward. Come on, do it, Christina. Come on. Tell her how they can do it. Come on, you and out. Go. Push. And out. Come on. You know this. This is going to test your explosion. Ready, set, on your mark, and go. Come on, test your explosion. Now when you come up, you want to push oh, through that screen. Yeah. Set, That's right, right? and go. go. So, that was a little intense. Like, lower focus. Woo, that's like leg day. Yeah, totally. To the closest thing to leg day that you got in this, in this program as far as whatever. And you don't even need weight because you're using your whole body weight. You do know, all the lunges and the squats and... Um, you do low, 
like you do balance things where you're holding all your weight and then you do explosive stuff. So it's tons of lower body craziness. Yeah. And having abs yesterday was really hard because to do a lot of the lower body balance and to hold your leg like straight and not fall over, you use your abs, which we're dying. Oh my God, yeah. Especially when we got into cardio. Yeah, oh. so today was the first day we've done doubles, right? And so, you know, I told him in the beginning I wasn't sure I wanted to do it back to back. We debated it after lower focus. Can we just say we're going to do it another right? time? And then we got done with the lower focus workout and I was like, hey, you know, I have all this, like all of a sudden this little burst of energy that I'm like, you know what, let's do it. Let's make it happen. Oh my god. You knew I was on board anyway. Like so. a minute into the lo like the cardio one, I'm like, oh, can we just push it to another day? It's like, no, we got we're we're in it, we're gonna do it. And I'm just like, okay. So I don't know what you're gonna see because he edits and stuff, but there's parts where I was laid out on the floor. There was parts where I was modifying, there's parts where I was doing really awesome. But there's just it was my legs were shaking. Oh god. Uh, I couldn't keep my balance because they were already fatigued. I was exhausted. I took a few water breaks. Oh, God. All right. I mean, woo. So I hear a lot of the time, like, you know, I act like I'm so awesome and I do this and that. I was taking breaks during this. I, she gave me some of her water. It was very nice of her. I mean, I was going through my hips and my quads were so fatigued. Yeah. I could not hold. I fell over a couple times. I'll put that in for you. It's in yeah. there. You saw it. Um, but... You know, it's okay. And I was, I was modifying. We were doing switch kicks. I'm like, I can't bring them up. It was sore as hard. Oh, man. Hip flexors, I don't know, all, all in here. I don't know. So I would, I, would, I would almost suggest maybe if you're more of a beginner to working out, split these up. Split them? Yeah. Um, Morning so and night at least. You're doing like either six days a week or you do one earlier and one later. The cardio, not that the cardio is easy, but you can do the cardio yeah. maybe first. And then do the lower focus just because it kind of gets your heart rate up, it gets everything going, and then you can kill your legs. Right. Because I felt like my legs were done and I couldn't get the cardio I was supposed to get in the second part because my legs didn't have anything left to give. Yeah. So These are just suggestions. Thoughts. Um, just thought things we think that might be beneficial um, if that's someone like you or a beginner to the working out. Ooh, and tip because Sunday is supposed to be stretch day if you um, so desire. It's on the calendar, so do it. But I recommend adding stretch after this or on Saturday as well for me because I have limited flexibility and I was realizing that in some of these moves when I'm trying to kick and I couldn't because it was tight or I was trying to do the lunge and I couldn't go low because I was tight. So add the stretch as much as you need to. Um, I think it was Asylum where he used to say, mm -hmm. you know, if you can't touch the floor, you should be putting stretch on every day. Yeah. There's no shame in it. It's helping you get better. Don't know what it is. Don't yeah. know how long it is, but I'll let you know on Sunday. Yeah, we'll probably tell you to do that anyways. Yeah, and if you have asylum, stretch. have relief in every day. Yeah, something, something. All right, well, sorry guys, this was a little longer than we are used to, but we had a lot of good tips and a lot of important things we wanted to get out to you. Um, any comments, questions, concerns, info at gf2revolution.com. All right, we still have a couple swag bonuses for some challenge Woo! packs, so email us, get ahead on that, and uh, subscribe. You're going to see the journey here first. All right? Thanks, guys. See you next time. All right. Stretch. Okay. Thank you.